Hello, Year 8. This is a short presentation on the different options that you have available to you from the business and IT department. So we have three different options available for you. We've got GCSE Computer Science. We've got Cambridge Nationals in Creative Eye Media, which is ICT. And we've got Cambridge Nationals in Enterprise and Marketing, which is the same as Business Studies. So we're going to look at Computer Science first. I do need to let you know that there is an entry requirement for computer science, okay? And we do require any students wishing to opt for computer science to be in top set maths. So when we look at what's involved in computer science, we are looking at two separate exam papers. You are assessed 100% on your ability to answer questions in an exam. I really need to stress that if you are choosing computer science, you need to have the ability to um, problem solve without getting flustered. And you also need to have a high level of independent learning. As you can see, it's split into two separate units. And as I said before, it's worth 50% per unit. In the first section or the first unit, we look at computer systems. So that's all about how our computers are made up and how, how our computer systems work essentially. So we look at the architecture of different systems. We look at memory and storage. We look at computer networks, how they are set up, how they are run and why they are set up the way they are. We look at system software and security. So how do we prevent um, cyber attacks? How do we differ between different types of software? And most importantly, we look at the ethical, legal, cultural and environmental concerns surrounding computing. So that's all the makeup of a computer system. But unit two is all about the way they actually run once we've made them up. So we look at computational thinking and it's about being able to look at algorithms and programming techniques looking at how to produce a robust program, looking at things called computational logics and translators. So that's all about the way that the computer makes a decision. We look at how data is represented in different formats on a computer. So when we store songs, when we store images, how is that made up and how is that stored on a computer? We look at different programming techniques. And most importantly, we look at your ability to analyze, design, develop, test and evaluate a system through its systems lifecycle. As I said, this is quite a theory based subject. So you need to be aware that there is very, very little actual practical uh, tasks involved in this. When we look at paper two and we look at programming techniques and programming, um, uh, producing a, pro a robust program, then there is a little bit of programming involved on the computer. So you will be using Python quite a lot during unit two. However, that is the practical element of it. You will not be assessed in any way using that practical. All of your assessment comes from your ability to answer questions on programming in the assessment exam. When we look at what's involved in terms of your career progression then for computer science, these are just a few things that it could lead to. So things like being able to design and analyze applications, looking at games design, for example, how we analyze data. Big things at the moment in the market are cybersecurity analysts and also software engineers. When we look at the average starting salary in the UK or the average salary of a computer science uh, graduate, it's around £45,000. So the next option we're going to have a look at is Creative Eye Media, and this is our IT offer. So this one is a very practical course, and this one is open to all students. So Creative Eye Media is split up into four modular areas of work and each area is equally weighted at 25%. So that means if, for example, in one of them, your um, grade is not as high as it could be, and the other one you absolutely smash your grade, then they pull themselves um, together and we end up with a nice balanced final grade. So there are two compulsory units that we have to study, and those are the two that are shown in green on your screen there. RO81 is pre-production, and that is your examination unit. So you will study all about the pre-production materials put into planning, designing, and evaluating digital products. So things like digital graphics, videos, scripts, um, and anything that is made that is publicised. Once we've got a firm foundation and, and we've got all of that information in our heads about pre-production, we can then move on to our practical units. Our practical units are RO82, so creating a digital graphic, RO85, designing a website, and RO87, creating a digital media product. 
So in previous years, R082 has been designing and creating some sort of cover or graphic. So last year it was a CD cover. The year before that it was a DVD cover. And this year's year 10s are currently studying to create a book cover. As I said, this is a very practical um, course. So there's lots of time for you to make sure that you get, you've got your work done and up to a successful grade. We then move on to our um, non-compulsory units, which means um, that we can change the units if we want to. So if you don't, if the whole class don't think that they want to do a website, then we can look at a different one. So for example, there are comic strip creations and there is an animation unit as well. And we decide that as a group. However, in the past two years, the, the groups have decided to go with the website design and creating a digital media product. So again, as I said, each section is equally weighted at 25% and you get ample enough time to complete all three pieces of coursework over the, the three years, uh, two years that you studied the course, three years that you studied the course, sorry. We can then look at what we move on to in terms of career progression for creative eye media. So things like being able to plan multimedia, anything to do with programming um, on the television, on radio, web content. If you are looking to get into media or publicating, uh, publishing, sorry, then it's a good option for you to go down. When we've looked at the average salary for people with ICT qualifications in the UK, it's around £35,000. So the key question here that you need to ask yourself when you are deciding between IT, creative eye media, or computer science is, are you a creator or are you a problem solver? If you are very creative and very practical and like to design and plan things, then eye media or IT is the choice that you need to go for. If you are really, really good at solving problems and you don't give up and you've got the ability to sit and work out what's gone wrong without getting frustrated, then computer science is a good course to go for as well. So the third option that we've got available from uh, for you for business and IT is our enterprise and marketing course, which is the same as business studies. So in a similar sort of way to Creative Eye Media, this one is split up into three different sections. And again, they are all weighted um, equally. So this qualification is for anyone who wants to develop um, some knowledge and practical skills in business. And it will prepare you for moving on to creating your own business venture or possibly studying business in industry when we move on to A-level or any other certificates that you might wish to do involve in business. So there are three different units that we study in business studies or enterprise and marketing. RO64 is enterprise and marketing concepts. And it just gives you the ability to understand the different ways that we set up a business and the different ways that marketing leads to being able to set up a business. This is the one where you are examined. So this is the paper, exam paper unit that you will sit. The nice thing about this one is that half of the exam paper is like a multiple choice and then half of the exam paper you will answer questions. We then have two practical units that you study. So RO65, designing a business proposal, and then RO66, market and pitch business, um, business proposals. Much in the same way as computer, uh, Creative Eye Media, there is one exam, which is RO64, and again, you get two chances to sit that exam. So you will probably do it once in year 10 and then once in year 11. And again, whichever one you get the best score in is the one that we take forward for your result. When we look at designing a business proposal, it's all about you coming up with your own business um, proposal. So you, you think of a business that you want to do, you plan it, you design it, and you look at the different ways that you can model that business. And then RO66 is all about the products that you will sell. So you will pitch that business proposal. There's like a dragon's den style um, task for you to do where you would have to pitch it to your teacher. Um, and it's all very practical. So it's, it's about building up that um, knowledge of building your first business and plug in the products that you've got within that business. So if you are looking to create your own business in the future, or it's something that you're interested in, then I would definitely recommend Enterprise and Marketing. It's a really nice course and we've had really good success with this over the past two years that we've run it. 
So if you look at the different skills that you will develop when you when you study enterprise and marketing, it's all about your ability to analyze, your ability to communicate. You will look at understanding figures in business or how money works, ability to think logically. We look at your presentation skills a little bit as well. So how do you present yourself? And then also your ability to write up a report based on your business proposal. If we look at career progression for enterprise and marketing, it's things like consulting, sales, trading, being able to do market research, retail buying, marketing and consumer products. And also, if you really like um, retail and you want to go into retail management, it's a really good course for you to pick. So my final slide is just about the, the summary. OK, so what are the differences? So enterprise and marketing is a vocational course. It's modular. It's split into those three modules. 50% of it is all coursework. And you look at your creative and your development of skills. Again, creative eye media is vocational. It's very practical. It's modular. That one's split into four. Three of those um, modules are coursework based. It's creative and it massively, massively helps you with your digital literacy. If you look at computer science, it's the opposite end of the spectrum. It's very theory based. There's a lot of investigation takes place in computer science. We look at your ability to adapt and solve problems. And it's very heavily focused on the technology used in computing. Most importantly, it's all about why things work the way they work in computing. If you have any questions about any of these three options that we have, please do come and find either me, Mr. Williams, or Miss Green, where we'll be happy to answer any questions.